and it'll me again. So it says O A C B is a parallelogram, P Q M and N and midpoints. It says that O to A is the vector A. So O to A up here is the vector A. O to B is the vector B. So you've done these at school. So express says express O C A B Q C C N and Q N in terms of A and B. So let's have a look at O to C. Uh, o to C. Now I'm going to do some like drawing on them to kind of take it off. So don't draw it on so you can see. So O to C is straight through the middle there. But to do it, if you imagine kind of going round your garden wall, what I need to do is move the B up to there. So to get to C, it's actually A plus B there. I'll just move that one back and I will remove C. I'll try to. Ah, get rid of that A though. That doesn't go well. Right, so let's have a look at A to B then now. So A to B, oof. so to get from A to B, I'm going to do, oh look at that, look, oh that's a shame isn't it, oh what's going on here now, I want three vectors, that's what I want, hang on, let me get, destroy them, and I'll just move around the vectors, so I've got that one, which is A, which I can move away, move it over there, and that one, which is B, which I can move around. So A to B. So I could, there's different ways I could do it, but the general gist is to get from A to B, it's going to be B, and it's going to be this one upside down, with that one backwards. So it will be minus A. And I could have gone the other way, couldn't I? I could have done a minus A first, and then a plus B. I might do that, though. I might just move these around. Uh, let's have a look at Q to C. Where's Q now? Oof, Q to C. Q to C is easier than we think. So the thing about vectors is the three space. We can have them anywhere we want for now. Then we have position vectors later. Right, so Q to C is a half of B. So Q to C is a half of B. C to M. So C to N. Where's C to N? So C to N is a half of A, but going the wrong direction. So it's minus a half of A. There. Just going the wrong direction. Oops. And then Q to N. Q to N. Where's Q to N then? Oof. <laughs> so Q to N is like, it's a half of a B. But it's also a half of an A, but going the wrong way. So minus a half of an A there. Okay. Right. But oh, that's alright. So we can actually write Q to A as a half of B minus A. So that's A done. What's B on about then? So B says, what can you deduce about QN? Um, well, hmm. B minus A is the vector A to B. So for part B, if I just compare the B minus A bit here, then we know it's parallel to the vector from A to B. But if you look, it's only half the length, though. So it's parallel to the vector A to B, uh, but only half its length. I hope that makes sense. I hope I'm not just talking gibberish. Well, I might well be talking gibberish, to be honest. It's a Wednesday morning. Right, there's a question for you on the next page. 
So have a go at that. I'll show you the answers because I noticed on that last book path that we weren't really doing the, the questions for you. My delete's not working now. There. So do the question for you. Don't just copy that. It's not used to. Right. I've got example four. So I could do example four as a separate one. Or I can just keep on going. I might do example four as a separate one because it's proper math classes we've had. Right. See you later.